I've had vision impairment for most of my adult life. It started when I was in high school. My mom didn't even want to believe it. Then I got hit with the basketball habang naglalaro kasi hindi ko makita. There are pros and cons in being visually impaired. Most of the negatives are being called the nerd. People stereotyping you as someone smart, even if you're not, and being somewhat bully. Pero marami pa rin learnings na nakukuha sa pagiging visually impaired or pagkakaroon ng malamang mata. And I'll share with you three things na natutunan ko, unironically, and being applied in my life. So first is that most of the time you don't have all the information or you can't see 100% of something. So what that means is that most of the time you need to be patient and find out all you can first before judging someone or judging something. Uso ngayon sa internet na we react with our emotions. May makita lang tayong tagline. We give it 100% of our reaction without even knowing both sides of the story or even the all the sides of the story. Pause. Look closer at something and then pass your judgment. Second is that maybe you are too far-sighted. Like the visual impairment, maybe you can only see far, but you don't see what's sometimes directly ahead of you. Mas marirelate mo yan sa career or sa work wherein most of the time uh, we're only goal-oriented and we step on other people to achieve our goals and dreams and we stop being empathic about everything and everyone around that. So next time, don't just focus on the goals. Focus as well on how to get there properly, hopefully morally, ethically, and safe. Always remember, it's not always just about the destination. Sometimes it's about the journey as well. And last but not the least, baka naman masyado ka nang malapit. So, don't be too nearsighted. Sometimes we're too focused on what's in front of us to know what the problem really is. So we're too involved into something that sometimes we don't see the whole picture. So what you should do is ask for someone's help or another person's perspective so that you can have a holistic approach or step back so that you can see further and more about the problem. So that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed, and as always, be there of your own mood. Bye!